going to go straight in and start priming our face with the Nivea Men Post Shave Balm. I'm going to apply this to the skin and then go in with the Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer. What this is going to do is just smooth out any texture that we have and make sure the face is ready for foundation. Then we are going to prep our eyes. So what we're going to do is just apply a little bit of concealer and blend it out and then I'm just going to go in and set it with one of the cream shades from the Modern Renaissance palette which is the palette that I'm going to use completely for my eyes today. So as you see I'm going to go in with the shade Tempra. What this is going to do is just set the eyes and prep it for eyeshadow. Then for our first transition shade, I'm going to use the color Burnt Orange. This is a beautiful, light, warm orange color. This is going to be our first transition into the crease. So I'm using a big, fluffy blending brush, and I'm just going to dust this into the whole crease area. I'm keeping it off the lid, but I'm not being super precise with this. Then I'm going to go in with the shade Regar, I believe is how you say it. Realgar, maybe? Something like that but it's a very, very pretty orange shade. What this is going to do is deepen up that crease even further. So I went into more of a tapered blending brush this time to use. That way it just applies right into the crease seamlessly. Then using the shade Love Letter. I love this color. It's such a gorgeous pink shade that is so easy to use. You could use this shade so many different ways. I'm just using a very small tapered blending brush and I'm going to apply this into the crease and on the outer edge of the eye. I'm just really deepening this up and what I'm going to do is smoke it out from where my lower lash line is. That's how I'm going to know where to stop. What that does is that way it makes it easy for you to connect your eyeshadow on the outer corner to your lower lash line when you smoke it out. It's the easiest way to do it, just going straight off that lower lash line and making the line right out. Then I realized how far out I was when I was doing my eyes, so I zoomed in a little bit. I'm just taking a little bit more of that Real Gar sha shadow and applying that to the center of the lid to blend out that pink shade. Then I'm going to use that temper shade again and apply this to the inner corner. I just want to refresh this a little bit just because of all the blending that we did. It kind of got into the inner corner and I want the inner corner to stay very bright. And I'm just going to continuously blend and apply pigment until I get the desired shade that I want. Then jumping right into face, I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer just to conceal all of my redness and any texture that I have all over my face and use my beauty blender to blend that out. Once we've blended that out, I will be going in with my foundation and the foundation that I'm going to use today is the Makeup Forever HD Stick Foundation. I'm in the shade 117. Love this foundation. As you guys know, this is one of the foundations that I had mentioned in my Beauty Favorites of 2016. It's such a great foundation. I love it. I'm going to use my Beauty Blender to blend it out. And, you know, just the typical pouncing motions to blend out your foundation. Make sure that you blend it everywhere. You bring it down on the neck just to make sure you have no lines. You don't want to be that person with the foundation line. Let me just tell you. Because that was totally me when I was younger. For sure. The foundation line was not cute. Then after you're finished blending out your foundation completely, we're going to go in with the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. As you guys know, this was another one of my favorites. I love this stuff. It just does such a good job at making the eyes look so awake and brightening up that under eye. Perfect for underneath of your highlight. Then I'm going to go in with the Sephora Serum Gel Concealer. Gel Serum Concealer, I think. I might have mixed those two up, but I'm going to dot this all over my under eye. I was kind of upset because when I bought this concealer, I was hoping that I got the new Dofa applicator, but I did not. I This one is still the old version. So the new ones, they change the applicator to where the product comes out everywhere now instead of just on the tip of it. So with this one, when you pull it out of the tube, there's only product on the tip of it. So it's you can't really swipe, you have to dot it. So with the new one, you're able to swipe it like every other concealer, really. So I was hoping that I would get that one, but unfortunately, I still got the older version of it. 
but I'm just going to use the Beauty Blender to blend it out. And you want to be very gentle when you're doing this, especially under the eyes. You don't want to press super hard with the Beauty Blender just because your under eyes are pretty sensitive and you want to be easy with it. You don't want to do anything too harsh under there. And the easier that you tap, the more blended it will be. If you start pressing too hard, sometimes you can smear the concealer. Then I'm going to go in with my Brow Wiz, of course, in the shade Taupe, and I'm going to do my brows. So I'm only going to show you guys one brow today, but as you can see, I am just underlining my brow. That's how I first start doing my brows because this just gives me a base to work with. And then I will go about one third of the way in on the brow and start lining the top. This is how I'm going to get my arch and all of that good stuff. And then once I've completely filled in the outer portion of my eyebrow, I will go in and just very softly fill in the inner corner. Using the spoilie is definitely key for doing your brows. And then a trick is using your beauty blender with any leftover translucent powder to kind of dust into the inner corner of the brow and that will give a very natural effect. And then I'm going to set it with, of course, the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. You know, by far, this stuff is my favorite. It is like glue for your eyebrows. These eyebrows will not go anywhere all day long. Nothing has compared to this yet. So now I'm going to go and smoke out my lower lash line. So as you guys can see, like I said earlier, where the wing goes out with my shadow is where my lower lash line starts. So it's very easy to connect the lower lash line smoky with the, I don't, I don't know what you would call it, but I guess just how the shadow wings out, it's very easy to connect the two. So I'm going to go in with Love Letter first, and that's what I'm going to apply with a small definer brush. And then I'm going to go in with Real Gar to blend it out. These two colors blended together on the lower lash line is so beautiful. I'm obsessed. Then going in with Hooded Beauty Samantha Lash. I love these lashes. They're so dramatic, but at the same time, you can really rock them with more of a natural look as well. It's very easy to wear this with dramatic or natural looks. But while the glue dries on the lashes, I am gonna apply a little bit of my L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara just to blacken the lashes and curl them up a little bit. And then I'm going to apply my lashes. So usually I don't show this part just because it's hard to get on camera, but I did a pretty decent job of staying in frame doing this eyelash. So as you can see, I just apply it in the center first, and then I go to the inner corner and the outer corner. And then I just do the exact same thing to the other eye as well. So then just using that carbon black mascara again, I'm going to apply that to the lower lashes. We need those lower lashes to pop, especially because when you have falsies on and you wear no mascara on the bottom. It just doesn't really work well together. Then for highlight, mm, love this shade. It's the shade Vermeer. Love it. It is so gorgeous. It's that pretty pinky champagne tone, but it's such a beautiful inner corner highlight. It just makes those eyes really stand out. I'm going to use that to highlight the brow bone as well. Then I'm going to use my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Love this stuff. I'm going to use this to bronze the face. And then after I've bronzed the whole outer perimeter of the face, I will go in and clean everything up. And I will also contour my nose. So as you can see, I'm just staying on the outer perimeter, just really bronzing up the skin. And then using one of my Morphe brushes. I love this brush. I will link it down below for you guys. I'm not sure what the number is right now, but it's such a good nose contour brush. It's perfectly shaped. 
So this is what I'm just going to use to contour the nose. If you guys want to see a nose contour routine, just let me know down below and I'll definitely film one for you. But I'm not contouring today, so what I am going to do is go underneath of the bronzer and just really shape it out using the RCMA No Color Powder. This is the same stuff that I use to bake underneath the eyes and set the concealer. So I'm going to do this and that will give us that sharp line without actually having to contour. Then using Becca's Blush Amaretto, I'm going to apply this to the cheeks. Such a beautiful bronzed, I would say this is very neutral blush, but it's so pretty, especially for any look. This is such an easy blush to pair with any eye look for sure. Then after I have applied the blush, I'm going to go in with a duo fiber brush. This one is from Sonia Kashuk. I'm just going to blend out all of that powder that we had put underneath of the contour. And I'm going to dust it onto the blush as well just to further blend everything out together. Then I'm going to go in with Champagne Pop, one of my all-time favorite highlighters. It's such a beautiful highlight. Not too gold, not too pink. It's that perfect champagne shade. I'm going to apply this to the center of the face and on the cheekbones, all the places that we want to have light reflect. So I also go right underneath of my eyebrow bone just to kind of blend the highlight into the brow highlight. It's just the way that I like to do it. Some people like to go above the brows, but I like to kind of just cut it right where my eyeshadow is. After I have highlighted, I will spray myself drastically with the Slay All Day Setting Spray. I drench myself in that stuff. I love it. It's so refreshing, so hydrating. I can't get enough of it. Then I'm going in with the shade Natural from NYX Cosmetics in their lip liner. I'm going to just line my lips, and then after I have lined it, I do a little trick, and what I do is I kind of just draw a line down the center of my bottom lip, especially when I'm not wearing a liquid lipstick, like I'm not going to be today. It just gives a little bit more of a fuller, plumper look to the lips. Then I'm going to apply Buttercup from Gerard Cosmetics. This lipstick is such a pretty shade. I love it. It's so comfortable to wear. And then I'm going to top it off with Creme Brulee Butter Gloss from NYX Cosmetics as well. This is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was such a fun tutorial to film for you guys. My favorite shades. You know I'm a pink lover. But... I wanted to film this for you guys just because I did wear it in my 2016 favorites. So in case you were wondering how I got that look, here it is for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.